Folks, I got Janice in here chopping up a chicken. We bought this whole chicken from the market over there. 200 pesos, that's about four US dollars. Good looking bird. She's already chopped off a leg there. Now this is from our, our chicken lady at Pasita Telepapa. So like if you're facing the market, she's to the left. They do chicken and pork. And her prices are cheaper than fresh options and the whole chickens are bigger. So uh, we like going with her on our chicken. And I still go to fresh options from time to time, but she's got a better price and a bigger product. Now look, what we were talking about is we're not gonna cook the chicken soup tonight with the bones because the bones break up. You know, Forrest G gets some bones in his plate. So I said, no problem. Here's what I'm gonna do. Now I've only got one burner here. But what I've got is this large reversible griddle. Now on the other side is the grill. This is the, uh, the flat spot. And what I've got is the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. I'm gonna make the soup in. And I'm gonna boil the bones over here to make the broth. And I'm gonna see if this setup will power everything. And I may even get creative and while the soup's cooking, I'll put this guy up there. I don't know, maybe fry an egg. See if we can maximize the British thermal units coming off of this bad boy. And again, this is the La La Germania uh, semi-commercial stove g -Wop. That thing is a tank. So that's what we're working with. I'm gonna see if I can get an angle, get, get the right angle on the dangle to get that system working. All right, so the water is going right here. Now this is just big enough to sit on there at the bottom, to sit on there flat, and this large skillet to sit on here like that. It's gonna take a little bit of skill where I don't dump this thing off and scald Janice and I, but it's, it's pretty damn solid, I think. Are you sure that's okay? Well, I'm not sure because I've never tested the system out. So you got more weight right here. It could do the gangster lean. All I gotta do is adjust it this way then a little bit. Maybe that's what we need to do. All right, famous last words of every redneck is what? Y'all watch this. If you wanna add the rest of it, y'all watch this shit. All right, one more test to see. I think we're good. I think we're good. The question is, is enough heat gonna transfer from this piece of iron to that piece of aluminum and into this piece of iron? I think the answer is yes, uh, due to this Mac Daddy right here putting out all these BTUs. I'm gonna crank that up, crank up the middle. Folks, that is putting off so much heat right there. Yeah. It's putting off a lot of heat. Scalding you out, baby. All right, I'll turn it down just a little bit, but I mean, that's what I gotta do. I've got to heat this, this griddle up enough so that it heats these two pots up enough. And I think we're going to be fine. Get a little oil going there. Well, folks, I'm trying to work with the right angle on the dangle here. Just get a little bit of oil in there. Oh, it wasn't hot, as hot as I thought it was. So I jumped the gun. <laughs> fake news. That was a little fake news going on there. That's all right. It, that's all right. I mean, there's heat coming off of it. But it wasn't, it wasn't ready. I served that rhyme before it was time. That's okay. Because what I'll do is just go ahead and paint that chicken. I'll go paint that chicken with a little chili. All right, so it got so hot over here. We had to bring a fan over. So I think that the verdict on this semi-commercial burner is it has to be outside on a cooking table. It's just too damn hot in here. You know, they wake up, come in here, try to watch TV. We turn the thing into a restaurant kitchen. It's hot. Put it outside, no problem. That's all you gotta do. So here's the lessons we just learned. This thing puts off so much heat. I mean, it, it, this whole place is so hot. It did the, heated up my iPhone mini. I mean, we can't even stay in here so hot. This is too big for our kitchen. So it has to move outside. I like cooking outside anyhow. It's about 20 degrees cooler out here. So we're gonna put this Big Mac Daddy right there. 
put the tank in the cover here and we're gonna cook outside and if it rains well so be it what we're gonna do is just plug in this induction cooker it's been in a box in there so if all else fails it's raining it's coming a monsoon here in the rainy season then we'll just cook with that little induction and, and deal with it but that thing right there my gosh i'm gonna tell you right now i recommended this because it's a sturdy product but unless you have a big big ass kitchen or you have an outdoor kitchen you can't put this in a small condo it's too hot uh when they say semi-commercial I should have listened to them. I just thought it was bullshit marketing, but it, oh my goodness. Let me get that thing out of here. This soup is all, almost done, but I had to start taking some of this heat sources out. Why would we want to eat inside anyhow? We got this beautiful tropical environment out here. It's beyond me. Big old pot of rice, as usual. The light is burnt out out here, which makes it more romantic. But I gotta change the light bulb. Yeah, got a little romantic candlelight dinner. We ain't got no candles, so we'll just use the solar power bank thing over there. We got a solar thing right there too. Oh yeah, charge. Folks, look what we're working with. Just a beautiful dinner out here underneath the guava tree. Baby, how was your nap? Did you have a good nap? Oh, that's Forrest G. Our folks get Forrest G waking up, fresh from his nap. Come on out here, son. How you doing, buddy? Get a good nap. Hold on, son. Pop, gotta get the soup. Pop, gotta get the soup on there for you, buddy. This is the soup with the bones. Oh yeah, smell coming off of that. Hello, Folks, that, that is just, can't explain that soup right there. This is the soup I'm going for. Soup without the bones. This is without the bones here. Mm. Oh my goodness. Both have a little bit of separate distinct smell and some juice on there. Oh yeah, he loves carrots. Let me fish some carrots out of there for him. That boy loves carrots, he loves squash. Here they call it calabasa. She, she said, Do what? Put the TV here. That's why you can live here. Oh, you I could here put, the TV, put the TV right here. Yeah. Nah, I think it's gonna start raining. It's gonna start raining. This is probably gonna be a bad idea, but. Ati said, how she is if raining? Yeah, if it's raining, we gotta change it up. But for right now, uh, look at this. If raining, don't eat. Uh, this is your Coke. Oh, thank you, darling. Your... Got my crackers. I'm, I'm going with crackers in the, in the bones. Folks, let me give a, give a taste of my creation here. I put some hot pepper in there. Take a look at it. Oh yeah, that's looking delicious. Look at that bite right there. Mmm, steaming off of it. My goodness, here we go. That's delicious. Ladies, how's the food? Delicious. Oh, I got one delicious? Delicious. How's your food, baby? Delicious. Fourth G, how's Bakit your food, buddy? Hindi nilagyan ng ano? Ng chili. How's your food, man? Hey, my, 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 my food is not, you know, put a chili. Complaining. You want some more chili? You want to talk to the chef? You're talking to him, baby. Here. You want some chili? I got some dried yeah. chili right here. Oil. Oil. Baby, I put two scoops of chili oil in both of them. Next time I'll put three, but if you complain that it's too spicy, it's on you. Baby, what, what do you got in your hand here? So you got you poured a salt in your hand to, to salt each taste each spoonful <laughs> folks i think my food is definitely forest g approved i think that light back there putting like a white banding on everybody or maybe it's my light i don't know there we go that's better 
Had that light in the background was messing it up. Oh yeah. Look at that. Papa's food is Forest G approved. And I think it's Janet approved. Janice approved because she's over there shoveling it down. Miles over here doing a little washing. Hey, what you doing? Oh, you washing dishes over there? Folks, again, it's just so much cooler outside. Washing dishes out there in the wash pan. Baby, can you uh, do a little twerk? Ready? Let me drop the beat. I know a girl and she don't want to work because she twerk, twerk, twerk. Mm, must have not dropped the right beat. Yeah. Hoy, sir, you're late. Finish your food. If you're not finished your food, you're the one wash the plate. <laughs> Boy, G, eat yes, all your food, me. man. You'll be over there washing dishes with your mama. Well, folks, I want to thank everybody for joining us for dinner tonight. Underneath the guava tree. Thanks for joining us. If you're not a subscriber on our channel, <laughs> bottom right hand corner of your screen, hit that over state road sign. Get on board our train, folks. Make sure you ring that bell <laughs> so you get notified when uh, we post videos because we don't have a production <laughs> schedule. So make sure you ring that bell. Yo, what are you doing? Yo, what are you doing? It's me, Rocky. Ring the bell. Ring that bell. I'm hiding now. Oh, man. That's a red horse. That ain't a red horse, baby. That's ice cold Coca Cola uh, out of that bottle over there, but it got a little warm, so I had to throw it in a... Tostitos glass over uh, ice. Very well, Liz. Marquitos, get back. Get what, baby? Get that. <laughs> When, so, when somebody makes an English sentence that I can understand, <laughs> give me that broom. Say it again. Hey, no. <laughs> Ladies, I don't, I don't speak to Gala. Oh, okay. We don't know how to English too. Okay, well, don't get mad because I don't understand what you're trying to tell me to do. They don't speak English real well, and I don't speak Tagalog. I mean, it's nobody's fault. It's just the uh, communication gap. Okay. And I've said it before. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to retire in the Philippines because everybody speaks English. You know, I can't go to Thailand or Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, places like that, because they don't speak English. <laughs> Therefore, I'll go to the Philippines where everybody okay. speaks English. Well, apparently, you've never been to the Philippines before. Um, people speak a certain level of English, uh, but it's not like you think. There's a communication gap every day here. I've been living here for a while, been traveling here for a while. I know enough Tagalog words, and really, really it's because I speak Spanish. Before I came to Southeast Asia, I was pretty damn proficient in Spanish, believe it or not. I've lost a lot of the proficiency, but if you speak Spanish, you come over here, <clears throat> a lot of the words in Tagalog are the same as Spanish, or they've changed it, what have you. But every day there's a communication gap, whether it's a tricycle driver, um, you know, the guy who calls you up on the phone, the delivery guy, you're trying to give him directions, you know. Uh, anyhow, I don't want to sugarcoat things, you know, you're thinking about moving here. Just realize that on a daily basis, there are difficulties in communications. Don't just think, oh, they speak English, I'll move there and not have a problem communicating. It's not real life here in the Philippines. It's not real life here in my house. <laughs> I had no idea what they were trying to do. They were trying to tell me to do until she threw the freaking broom at me. I don't know. 
The ladies got Forrest G out here, and I'm, I'm not going to film him because he's naked as a jaybird in the wash tub. But he's going to take a bath out here tonight. So nice and cool. You know, why go in the house? Going to take a little bath out here in the wash tub. Yep. All right, good. So they put some shorts on him so I can film him. But little Forrest G's just going to chill in his hot tub. And they brought the shampoo and everything out here. So I'll give the little dude a bath out here. Those pots are uh, hot, baby. You're the one get them? I'll get them. <laughs> hey, man, quit drinking from the Manguera. Ain't the 70s, dude. <laughs> no, you folks, you ain't gonna believe this. The ladies are watching this movie. It's called Wrong Turn. It says full movie in Tamil with English subtitles. They watched 12 minutes of it. 12 full minutes of it. And then they finally said, hey, can you put it on the Bluetooth speaker because we can't hear it good. I put it, put it on the Bluetooth speaker to where they can hear it and they're speaking in Tamil. And then they wanted to blame me for messing up the sound. I'm like, listen, you've been watching it for 12 full minutes in Tamil. All I did was turn the volume up with the Bluetooth speaker. They had no idea. You just watched the thing for 12 minutes. You didn't know what they were saying. Just wondering what happened in there, Just wondering what's the voice. Look at the popcorn. Mm -hmm.